Hello students. Today we are going to complete new topic that is corduroy or corded velveteen. In this corduroy and corded velveteen is comes under the classification of weft pile. That means this comes under the cut classification of cut weft pile. Already we have studied about the weft pile fabrics. In this one also we have studied about the cut weft pile fabrics. Normally we know that cut weft pile fabric is also known as the velveteen. Already that times we have studied. Okay, cut weft pile is known as velveteen. So this is comes under the the corduroy or the corded velveteen is the one of the sub classification of cut weft pile fabrics, right? So in this one, how we are making the corded velveteen? In this corduroy or corded velveteen is formed by using two series of two series of weft. What are the two series of weft? They are one is ground weft and another one is pile pick or we can say ground instead of uh, weft we can write pick also that means ground pick and the pile pick right so and one series of and one series of war war pile right two series of weft and one series of war is required to make the corduroy or corded velveteen structure so we will see next how the corduroy is forming so already i told you there will be two series of pick that is the ground pick and the pile pick so in this corduroy fabric the ground is forming by the interlacement of ground end with the ground pick and the pile is formed by using the interlacement of pile pick with the ground ends right so in this structure in already you know what's the difference between normal weft sorry normal cut weft pile fabrics or that is called velveteen velveteen with the corded velveteen so the main difference is that in ordinary velveteen the binding points of ground pick is running in an irregular way throughout the length and width of the fabric okay the binding points will be that means the float will come then interlace with the uh, ground ends and they again float and interlace with the ground ends so the binding points will be in a irregular way that will run in the throughout the length and width of the fabrics right but in corded velveteen what will happen the pile pick is bound in with the ground ends in a straight line with a definite interval matlab suppose ek float then bound in then again float then bound in then again float bound in second next pick also will come that also will more or less same place it will bound in again float then bound in and again float then bound in so what will happen you can see the bound in area is more or less form in a straight line okay so float so after sorry uh, during weaving what will happen the long weft float this is called a pile pick na this pile pick will form long float and also then it is interlaced then again it is float then it is interlaced then again it float and it is interlaced with the ground ends we know that the ends are called ground ends okay 
then after weaving what will happen what we will do we will cut the middle of the long float ye jo weft float hai na this ka jo middle portion mein we will cut after weaving so what will happen this yarn will get break and the fibers will just undust and it will form in a this way that means bound in the fibers will form in a line ab jo fabric dekha to final fabric it will like, look like this one bound in and fibrous material again bounding in and the fibrous material in this order you can see in the fabric so due to the this bounding in area we are arranging in a straight line so that's why what will happen you can see the long ridges or uh, long rib or long cord is formed in the lengthwise direction of the fabric that means jitna length hai wo length pe pura ka pura we can see the cord line theek okay. hai so this is the main features of the corduroy or corded velvetine structure what is the specialty the pile pick is interlaced with the ground ends in a straight manner theek okay. okay then how the what are all the different steps to form the corduroy or corded velvetine one by one we can see okay for that purpose for the design purpose first required length of float length of weft float that we decide theek okay, hai length of weft float we will decide suppose man ke lo say 6 uh, float 6 float matlab that 6 end rahega wo 6 end ke upar this weft will float this is called 6 uh, means length of float right based upon the length of float jitna length rahega weft float mein that much length of cut pile will form that means from the foundation of the fabrics this pile will project that much length so we can say that based upon the float length when wherever the float length is whenever the float length is increasing the pile length is more that means the height of the that the ridges will or height of the cord will increase aapko jitna cord ka jo height aapko increase karna hai to that you have to design more weft float right that's a one of the main criteria then another one is that the ratio of ground pick ground pick to pile pick theek okay. hai suppose example one ground pick ke baad hum man ke chalo two pile pick hai means that or say another example one ground ke sath four pile pick or one ground ke sath three pile pick so based upon our requirement we can change the ratio of ground with the pile pick right so this ratio determine the you know that we will decide based upon the uh, type of yarn we are using example if the coarser if you are using coarser weft uh, if you are using so the ratio will be man chalo 1 is to 2 that means one ground is to two pile pick if when when the coarser weft we are using we will use the one ground is to to pile pick right so if you are using finer yarn as the pile pick then you have to go for the one ground is to four pile so we can say the ratio determines the uh, you know that the density of the we can say that that means 
कितना वो डेंस रहना है दैट डिटरमिन बाई द रेशियो ऑफ द ग्राउंड टू दि पैल पीक and also uh, another one criteria is that that is the depends on the count also count of the pile peaks pile peaks and the ground peaks right suppose example <coughs> okay we can create code row in a two manner one is two way we can prepare one is plain back plain back will be team and another one is till back will be team till back okay we sorry will be team till back code row we can say okay till back code row code row here also till back sorry plain back uh, code row till back code row okay then how the name is coming the main difference is that based upon the ground view okay ground view that means if you are using plain view as the ground then we can say it is the plain back that means plain view if you are using that is called a plain back if you are using till as the ground view that is called a till back velvet team or uh, sorry till back code row in this case okay so one by one we can say first we will construct the plain back velvet team simple steps that we will follow Okay, here I am taking the example as suppose plain back ground view, ground view, plain. Then uh, length of float. Now we will take length of float. I am taking five. Okay, then. रेशियो ठीक है मैं चलो उन्नीस टू फोर इसी पर पास आई एम सेलेक्टिंग दिस ऑन उन्नीस टू फोर आई एम सेलेक्टिंग ठीक है उन्नीस टू फोर दैट मीन्स रेशियो इज वन वन ग्राउंड इज टू फोर फाइव समझ आ रहा है कि नहीं यू कैन सी दैट इज सी वन ग्राउंड इज टू फोर pile pick okay then so from this one first we have to find out the size of the design how to find out the size of the design okay from this one so we need the float length of 5 okay that means ek repeat mein kya hona chahiye फाइव पिक के ऊपर सॉरी फाइव एंड के ऊपर ए पिक फ्लॉट होना चाहिए हमको मालूम है कॉर्डर में क्या करना चाहिए देर शुड बी ए बाउंडिंग एरिया दैट मीन्स वन मोर इन दी सर्किट फॉर बाइंडिंग राइट सो द मिनिमम इन सर्क्यूट इज सिक्स ठीक है इफ यूर लेंथ ऑफ फ्लॉट इज फाइव द मिनिमम इन रिक्यूट इज सिक्स and also the minimum pick requirement minimum pick requirement kaise hoga that will depends on the ratio of the ground ends with the pile peak idhar ground ends ka ratio kitna hai ground end is 1 agar one ek ground pick hum select kiya to uske jagah pe four pile pick be required aise to what is the ground view the ground view is plain view plain view mein ek repeat mein minimum number of picks Are two right? Minimum number of picks are two. That means what will happen? One with first, na? 
एक ग्राउंड के साथ फोर पिक ऐसे तो सेकेंड ग्राउंड के साथ ऑल्सो फोर पिक सो टोटल साइज विल बी सिक्स इंटू टेन ओके देन हाउ टू मेक द डिजाइन वी कैन सी फर्स्ट वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द साइज ऑफ द डिजाइन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स ठीक है देन टेन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन मोर हियर That is the टन ठीक है दिस इज अ मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ एंड एंड पिक्स रिक्वेड फॉर मेकिंग दि फॉर ट्रेनिंग फाइव फ्लॉट लेंथ वी रिक्वेड सिक्स ग्राउंड एंड सो दिस इज दि ग्रउंड एंड मार्क कर सकते हैं ग्राउंड ग्राउंड एंड जी मीन्स ग्राउंड है ना G means ground ends. ठीक Then here pick wise also pick also we have to mark. We know that first is ground pick that is marking as G. Then next four pile. The what is the ratio? One is to four. So next is pile 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 pile. Then again ground. Then again four pile. One two three four. Okay. Then first, what we will do? We will mark the plane view on the ground ends. What is the plane view? Up, down, up, down, up. Then next, second behavior. That means second pick behavior. We will mark on the second pick. That is the here up, down, up. So that's why here down, up, down, up, down, up. So base. the ground structure is over the next is the behavior of pile picks that we have to mark in this way suppose we know that the pile pick is bound in with the ground ends in a straight line hai na on particular order in a straight line with a definite interval Okay, so in this case, suppose I am marking like here, one up, there we are. Then second, here, third, in this order alternate pile pick. So here we can see one, two, three, four, five. Float length of five here we have obtained. Here also, float length of one, two, three, four, and five. Five we have obtained. So Here also, we will mark the behavior of pilings on the, है ना? You can see the pile, first pile pick that is interlacing with the first ground end. Second pile pick also interlacing with the second ground end. Third also interlaces with the first ground end. Fourth one also interlaces with the second ground end. That means all the pile picks are bound in in a straight line, or we can say that is bound in with the first two ground ends. Okay. Suppose in this one, so many modification also we can make it. This is a base thing, basic one. So for examination point of view, this one is enough, right? Then, how to make the thread interlacing diagram? That's important thing. Is that your thread interlacing diagram? How to make it? That I will rub it here. You can see. Okay. First, we will mark this rounds denote the ground ends. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the basic things. 
of this wheel so i am adding two repeat that means 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay 12 wins so the first interlacement that is a ground ends ground end is interlacing with the so this is a first ground pick down up down up down okay first second one also interlacing on down then second ground end is up third is down for this in this order in a plain order we will mark it so next you see the first pylon okay first pylon what will do that will come we can see the design ab dekha to first pylon pe kya rahega that first point pe wo up rahega that means first pylon pe ground ends rise hoga that means here bounding ho gaya then that float will happen aapko samajh mein aayega 1 2 3 4 5 5 point float hai 5 point ke upar float rahega then down again 1 2 3 4 5 5 ke float rahega right down rahega so then second also second end dekha to the second big this is the first one second will down yes up then again float that will come like this one again float third one also will come like this one fourth will come like this one means if you are proceeding all the pile picks will interlace with the these two ground end okay so after weaving what we will do in the middle of the long float long float ka middle kya hai in this case float is float length is 5 that is in this case 1 2 3 4 5 so its middle point kon sa hai this one so here we will cut the this long float with the help of a cutter machine cutter is there after weaving we will insert the cutter and uh, fabric is moving uh, towards the front side so what will happen automatically this long float will cut ये लॉन्ग फ्लोट कट हुआ तो क्या होगा दिस विल राइज फ्रॉम द फाउंडेशन ऑफ द क्लोथ दैट मींस ये जो है नेक्स्ट वाला भी ऐसा रहेगा लाइक वेस्ट हेयर आल्सो दिस विल गेट राइज हेयर आल्सो इट विल राइज इधर कट रहेगा ठीक है सो दिस इज दक्चर ऑफ मीन्स थर्ड इंग्लिश डायग्राम ऑफ कोड्रॉय और कोडेड विल बिटिन आप लोगों को डाउट लगेगा ये जो पोर्शन है ये इधर दिख जाएगा है ना बट ऐसा नहीं दिखेगा ड्यू टू दिस फाइब्रस मेटीरियल दिस विल कवर अप द एरिया ऑफ दिस ग्राउंड so you can't see the ground area right so here on minor code line will be there so here the ridges will flow here also here code will flow in the case of <coughs> tool bag what's the difference between this one uh, the plain bag and the tool bag will be in the main difference is that in tool bag will be in the ground weave is tool weave that's all ground weave is tool weave okay baki the principles are same for the tool back velvetin also okay one more example we'll see suppose if you want ah <coughs> uh, if you want the float length of 3 3 and 2 ठीक है पहले हम क्या किए थे 5 एंड का 5 का एट ए टाइम फ्लोट द अभी हम क्या करेगा इसको स्प्लिट करेगा मतलब एक जगह पे 3 दूसरे जगह पे 2 तो ए जैसा कैसे करेगा सपोज मैं फर्स्ट उसका थ्रेड रिलेशन डायग्राम करेगा ठीक है सपोज प्लेन व्यू
then we will mark it okay so in this one 3 and 2 3 and 2 mein kya karega number of ends in the repeat that we have to find out number of ends in the repeat will equal to 3 and 2 matlab 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 i'm going to say 5 float length ke liye total float length will be 5 3 and 2 so iske sath kya karega 2 additional ends also required for binding in ठीक है वो बाइंडिंग इन के लिए टू एडिशनल इंसर्ट्स और रिक्वायर्ड सो इसका साइज विल बी सेवन इंस राइट पिछले एग्जांपल में टोटल फ्लोट लेंथ मतलब एट ए टाइम ओनली वन टाइप ऑफ फ्लोट लेंथ इज देयर दैट इज अ फाइव बट हियर दैट इज स्प्लिट अप ऑफ 3 एंड 2 3 एंड 2 मतलब क्या रहेगा सपोज एग्जांपल आई एम टेलिंग हियर सपोज फर्स्ट वन इज वन डाउन 3 अप देन वन डाउन 2 अप देन वन डाउन 3 up, 1 down, 2 up. Suppose this is the 1 repeat. A 1 repeat jayega toh kutna hooga? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 in this required. Float ke liye 2. Then binding ke liye idhar ek. Here also float ke liye 3. Binding ke liye 8. So accordingly we can find out the size of the design. Right? So iska... डिसेंड करना में भी आसान है वेरी वेरी इजी यू कैन सी जो भी साइज कर लेना ओके 7 एंड सेना 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 ओके देन फर्स्ट ग्राउंड पिक देन नंबर ऑफ पिक्स विल डिपेंड्स अपॉन द बेस्ड अपॉन द रेशियो सपोज द सेम एग्जांपल आई एम मेकिंग इन द रेशियो ऑफ 1 इज टू 2 1 इज टू 2 में क्या रहेगा 1 ग्राउंड एंड 2 पाइल 1 ग्राउंड एंड 2 पाइल तो so, इसका साइज रहेगा सेवन इंडू थ्री एंड थ्री सिक्स है ना सेवन इंटू सिक्स में उसका फाइनल साइज रहेगा ठीक है फर्स्ट मेथड ग्राउंड ग्राउंड एंड स्वील मार्क विथ दी है ना ग्राउंड इंडीज विथ दी ग्राउंड पिक वील मार्क इन द प्लेन व्यू here also we will mark ground into the ground pick in a plane order then the pile ends we will mark what is the pile ends behavior this portion one up then three down then one up two down so here one down one up huh what is it three up two down in this order we will mark it very very easy so this is the class of code roy and coded velvetin tool bag velvetin aap log work out kar lijiye already me online class pe aapko bata diya tha theek hai this also same method here instead of uh, ground view suppose example i am telling 2 and 1 2 upon 1 tool okay tool bag examples Okay, tool bag mein kya karega? The ground view will be 2 up, 1 down, 2 up, 1 down. So here also 2 up, 1 down, 2 up, 1 down. Suppose based upon the view, the repeat. Here kya hai? Suppose 2 up, 1 down tool hai to. Kya karna padega? How many ground pick will be there? 3 ground pick will be there. So accordingly here I have to mark another one ground pick. Then respective pile pick also we have to mark. Right, the same thing that you can work out. Okay, thank you. Bye.